Hi, I'm Judy with Amazing Trails Yoga doing block party yoga here at Ashokan Reservoir having so much fun. We start off with a nice restorative pose opening up our hearts toward the sky and then we begin to party hard which means we do a little bit of work. We will be connected to one or two blocks at every single pose routine that we do and they are here to help you modify to bring the earth closer to you or to enhance your poses to help you open up and get into a deeper stretch, a deeper pose and we will end up with another few restorative poses to help you relax and really enjoy the party that we just had. Looking forward to having fun with you. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you soon. to inhale for as long a duration as you exhale. Hearing the sounds of nature, relaxing, opening up your heart. I did this with the cameraman last night as a practice. He felt his back kind of pop, that popping noise, three times. He said he felt so great. And we're breathing. We're starting out relaxing. We're going to party a little hard, and then we'll end up totally relaxed. Every pose we do will be connected to a block to modify and enhance your poses with these blocks, however way you look at it. Another deep breath in and out. Okay, we're slowly removing the blocks and we're taking one to sit on in a cross-legged position. We're usually down on the mat with our hips up. This is a different approach with them. Another way to open up. It's really good with the variety. Taking your right hand on the block, we'll inhale our left hand up over our head. Exhale, cactusing our arm, looking to the left. Opening our chest. Inhale up. Exhale, back and over. Inhale, up and over. Maybe a little lower. Exhale, back. Another time, we'll inhale, up. Exhale, back. Take the block. You could do this. This might be easier or this length. And we're bringing it around behind you, exchanging hands. And going around, a little bit of fun. This is a block party after all. And we'll change direction. You 
could do it lengthwise, it might be easier to grasp. And we'll end up with a block in our left hand, bring it down to our left side and in, inhale your right arm up and over. Exhale, bending your arm, cactusing your arm to the right. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up and over, exhale back. Inhale up, over, exhale back. Very nice. We're removing the block from under us. Take your legs out to the side. Paschimottanasana, a forward seated fold. You could take the blocks on either sides of your legs for a little support. You could put the block behind your feet if you're like gumbo, Gumby and reach for the block, reach for both of the blocks. Bending forward, giving your legs a nice stretch in preparation of our work. Or you could take the blocks at your sides, put maybe your forearms down on them, any height, whatever works for you. Take a nice deep breath. I'm reaching for these blocks. Maybe shift around a little bit. And we're coming back up, bring the blocks with you. you take your feet around, we're coming into tabletop. The blocks at the lowest. Put your hands on the block, spread your fingers so you have a nice foundation. The blocks are directly under our shoulders, under our elbows. We'll cat cow, we're inhaling, bringing our shoulder blades back. Our abs are coming down toward the mat. Exhale into cat. Draw your belly button towards your spine. Inhale in cow. Exhale to cat. Inhale to cow. And exhale to cat. Stepping back into a plank and we'll lift up our hips. We'll come into a downward dog. Your hands are on the blocks. Maybe if you could never put your heels to the mat, maybe now you can because we're in a different position. We'll do three half sun salutations. We'll inhale forward. This is a whole different sensation. I love it. Exhale down in Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. If you never had your knees off the mat before, maybe now you do. And exhale down into downward dog. Inhale into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. One more time, we'll inhale forward into plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. And exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Looking between your hands, the space between your blocks, we'll inhale our right foot up. Now this is where the party begins, the fun. You're dropping your left heel to the mat. Take a hold of the block on the big toe side of your foot and we're coming up into a warrior one. Holding the block, this helps you, this aids you in keeping your pelvis squared off toward the mat. Take a deep inhale and exhale. From this, we'll raise our back heel and we're bringing our left foot forward, we're coming into chair. You're taking the block and placing it between your thighs and picking up the other block. We're in Utkatasana chair position. Again, the block allows us to bring our arms up evenly up overhead as if we're hanging on a monkey bar. And we'll bring the block around behind us and we'll come up. And the other way and up. 
the other way. We'll switch, exchange the block. I'm using the long side. It's a little easier to grasp. And one more time. Very nice. From this, we'll come into a forward fold. Take the blocks at the tall side. Maybe you could bring your feet back a little bit. You are inhaling your left foot up to the sky. We're in a warrior three. And you're bringing your left knee behind your right in a little curtsy and back up into a warrior three. We're going to bring your left foot back, a little curtsy, back up into warrior three. And again, we'll curtsy behind us, come up into warrior three, and from this you're inhaling your left arm up. We are in a half moon pose. Now you're coming back down, you're squaring off your hips, and you're, sh you're shifting your back leg down into a lunge. Bring the blocks along beside you. Maybe you could bring your right foot up. And we're in this nice lunge position, going back and forth a little bit. Now we're lowering the blocks, so they're on the lowest stance, coming into the plank position coming down into chaturanga upward facing dog and downward facing dog we come into plank chaturanga upward facing dog and downward facing dog and one more time we come into plank a downward facing dog upward facing dog and back into Downward dog, we come into a plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Look between your hands, inhale your left foot up. The blocks on either side of your foot keeps your foot, they keep your foot straight instead of turning it sideways. It's really a lot of fun dropping your right heel to the mat, grab a hold of the block, and we're coming up into warrior one. Your hips are squared off toward the side of the mat in warrior one. From warrior one, you're picking up your back foot and bringing it over next to your left. Put the block between your thighs as you grab the other block and we're coming up into Utkanasana chair. A perfect chair, your feet are apart, knees are the same distance apart. And we'll bring the block around behind us and up. The other way, behind us and up. Behind us, this makes it more like a little party. We're doing some some chair squats without even realizing it, just having a little bit of fun. And take the block down into a forward fold. Coming up, we'll put the blocks at the highest stance. And this time we are inhaling our right foot back. Into the warrior three, we'll curtsy behind us our right foot back, squaring off your hips, curtsy behind, our right foot comes back, and we're curtsying behind, we'll do that one more time, our right foot comes back, we're opening up our hips and lifting up our right arm into a half moon, Bringing your right arm back on the block. We could lower our back leg. Maybe the blocks can come down. And we're in a lunge. Very, very nice. That was awesome. We did a lot of work there. And we had fun and we partied. And we're coming down onto our bums. Still using these blocks. This is now the hard party part. 
We're bending our legs at the knees, drawing our knees close to us. We put the block between our feet. Our hands come down on either side of us. We lift our legs up straight. Very good ab work now. We're bringing the block down at 30 degrees. 45 degrees. We hover toward the bottom. Back up to 45, 30, and 90 degrees. We'll do that two more times. Bringing the block on. You can hang on to the mat if you like. 45. We're hovering. Back up to 45, 30, and 90 degrees. Take a nice breath. We're lowering 30 degrees. About, I don't have a protractor. 45, hovering down below. Back up to 45. 30 and 90 becomes a resting position. If your legs are bent, that's perfectly fine. Now this I think is a really fun party because we're going to bring our arms up. This is the fun part. Separate your feet a little bit. You're going to catch the block. Lower your feet to the ground and your arms overhead. Bring them back up. Separate your feet and put the block between them. Lower your feet and your hands overhead. We'll bring them back up, catch, and down. You could do this at your own speed or stay with me. You're bringing your feet up. Separate, get that block. Drop your feet, drop your hands. Again, bring your hands up, your feet. Separate, catch and down. We'll do that two more times just because I'm having fun. I really love doing this. And back. And one more time. We're bringing our hands and feet up. Separate, catch, and down. Bending our legs at the knees, our feet to the mat, the soles of our feet to the mat. Take your block between your thighs. Maybe bring your heels up a little closer. We're coming into a bridge with a block between our thighs. You're inhaling your pelvis up to the sky. The palms of your hands are flat against the mat. This stretches out our abs. All the work we just did just lets them breathe a bit. And we come down. Again, we inhale our hips up toward the sky. A nice bridge. And down. And we'll do that one more time. We'll inhale our pelvis up to the sky. Take your hands and connect them underneath. Interlace your fingers. Maybe you could bring the backs of your arms a little closer under your shoulders for a larger bridge. Another inhale. Exhale. And come down. Take the block and you're putting it underneath you. Have it on the lowest, very lowest position there is. So right by your tailbone, by your kidneys, and you're picking your feet up, your legs are up toward the sky. I like to hold on to the block in this, or you can put your hands on the mat. And your feet are together, you're making little circles. Notice I'm holding the block, I don't want it to fall out from under me. And you're making little circles, this is so good for your core. Anyone walking by could say, look at that block party. You're making the circle bigger one way. Not too big because you'll fall right over. I'm on a big block, I don't, a rock rather, I don't want to fall. 
and you're making the circle smaller and smaller until you come to a stillness. We'll go the other way, starting out with small circles. Very nice. Making them a little bit bigger. Very good for your core as well as your coordination. Something we don't think about too often, but we, it's really good to have coordination. Now you can start making the circle a little smaller and smaller until you come to a stillness. If your legs are bent the whole time, that's fine. Now we can certainly bend them, place our feet on the mat, take the block out from under us, and we're putting it maybe, we have it at the lowest, you could put it maybe a little bit higher, the same position, not in the middle of your back, but more by your tailbone. I like to put it on the highest, but I am pretty flexible. I don't suggest that to too many people. But we are doing a reclined bridge pose, a supported bridge which relaxes our ab muscles that we work very hard, stretches them out, elongates them. Really very nice. Starting to wind down. Don't get too excited. Party's not over. This is one of my favorite poses. I hope you're loving it too. We'll end up with some restorative poses. I'm listening to the water hitting the rocks at Ashokan Reservoir. It's so beautiful. The leaves are changing colors. your block to block and up so you're just lifting up your shoulder blades you're keeping your sits bones on the mat and we're going back and forth little easier when you have a block to touch the other block you're modifying you could go at your own pace have a little fun with this Opening up our shoulder blades, our back. And now you're coming up and you're laying one of the blocks down. Bend your legs at the knees. Bring your knees close to your chest as you separate them and put the block between your knees. Your knees as close to your chest as you can. Your arms are out to the side. And we're rocking our hips back and forth. A spinal twist. But we're moving. We're in motion, bringing our sides of our thighs from side to side. I did this this morning. I felt a little pop. It felt great. And then I went to the other side and felt a pop. So you know it's working. It's also good ab work and fun at the same time. Now when your knees come to your center, drop the soles of your feet to the mat. Your arms are out at a T and we're doing this, the same thing from side to side. Just a different sensation different feeling on your back, a different location. 
It's still a spinal twist. Just a different area, which is so good. Variety. Variety is the spice of life. It's not good to just do the same exercises over and over again. You'll hit a plateau, you'll get bored. You won't use as many body parts, as many muscles. And one side and the other. Very nice. Take the block from your legs. We're stretching our legs out to the side of the mat. Our arms come overhead, holding onto the block. And you're going to take your left foot over to the left. Your right foot comes to meet it. And we're bringing our arms over to the side. We look like a banana. This is banana pose. Your pelvis is up toward the sky. You're not over to the side. You're up. Your shoulder blades are on the mat. Your sits bones on the mat. Your back thighs on the mat. Maybe you might want to cross your right leg over your left for a more intense banana stretch. Feeling this in our sides. Should feel very nice. We're reflecting on the party. We partied hard. Now we're relaxing, taking it all in. You are uncrossing your right foot, bring it to the center, your arms come overhead. Take your right foot out to the side, your leg, your left leg comes to meet it. Bring your arms over to the side. Your hands are holding on to that block. I'm going to cross my left foot over my right. Keeping my lower back on the mat, my shoulders on the mat, my shoulder blades. We're not turning sideways. Just nice banana pose. I should have worn yellow, look like a banana. we uncross our left leg, move our legs over to the center, our arms up ahead, point your toes, give yourselves a nice stretch, and bring the block and retrieve the other block. You're going to bend your legs at the knees, the soles of our feet will come together. You can place the blocks outside of your knees for a very nice restful Shavasana. Nice resting pose. You'll take your hands so that the palms are facing up toward the sky. And you're relaxing and breathing and taking it all in. Let your body sink down to the mat. Take your knees together, take the blocks away, and you'll come to your sides. And coming up, we'll sit one last time on a block. Just so we can say we did every single pose, every an asana with a block. So much fun. In fact, we'll take the block between our hands in prayer. And thank you so much for joining us here. We had so much fun at the block party. Please subscribe, like us, we love you.
and have a beautiful, beautiful day. Namaste.